After a fractious year for the Turnbull government, replete with citizenship chaos and the seismic squabble over same-sex marriage, the Liberals' leading lights want 2018 to be all about unity. They want to unify rowdy coalition MPs, unify the country's focus on the economy, and unify the government's message behind a brand new slogan, Let's Keep Australia Working. Announced earlier this week, it pivots away from the jobs and growth mantra that saw Malcolm Turnbull limp over the line at last year's election. Jobs Minister Michaelia Cash, who will be at the centre of this renewed focus on employment, said the slogan encapsulated what the government is all about. Campaign stalwarts who spoke to Fairfax Media on Thursday said the slogan aimed to capitalise upon whatever momentum the government may have gained through recent by election wins and the cabinet reshuffle. They said it was a clear throwback to Margaret Thatcher's winning 1979 campaign, Labour is working. And although Mr Turnbull's slogan sounds positive, they said it fits what the advertising industry calls a pose negative. Things that might ostensibly look like a positive slogan have an underlying threat to it, explained Dee Madigan, who has worked on numerous Labour campaigns. In this case the threat is, if things change, you might not be working. Toby Ralph, who worked on John Howard's winning campaigns, said the slogan was a negative couched as a positive. While most swing voters that believe political parties create jobs, they will readily accept that the other side might destroy them, he said. That's the message here. Mr Ralph rated the new slogan 7 out of 10, largely because it doest contain innovation, and further that it's a four-word slogan, an edifying improvement on the tsunami of three-word reductions that has washed over us these last several years. All modern political catchphrases are intensely worked through focus groups, and are often derived from what focus group members mention. While Tony Abbott and Peter Cridley were mocked for three-word slogans, the Turnbull government did fare much better, briefly deploying the phrase continuity and change, seemingly swiped from the political satire veep, before landing on the pedestrian jobs and growth mantra. The coalition copped internal criticism for avoiding attack ads and negative campaigning in 2016. They really let Labour off the hook in a big way, and they let, Bill, shorten off the hook, said Greg Daniel, who worked on Liberal and National Party campaigns for Malcolm Fraser, Tim Fisher and others. He said Let's Keep Australia Working was a vast improvement on its predecessor, and could be used with a positive spin or alongside an attack ad, but its success would depend on how it manifests in advertising. The slogan in itself will not cut through. It's how it's delivered that's critical, Mr Daniel said. But Senator Cash was a very good retail politician and the right kind of person for the job. She's not a backroom boffin. She can get out there and take it to the Labour Party and hold an argument. However Adam Ferrier, a consumer psychologist at Thicurbel, was less convinced of the mantra's utility.